Morning guys, Monday morning with Mr. Gaines. You've probably seen me in this pose before in the kitchen. About to head to the gym, you can see, I don't know if you can see, it's a little bit grey today, but we're still in a good mood. We're still gonna go and make the most of it, go and make some gains. It's back day. Guys, don't get depressed about your Mondays. I know I'm a little bit tired. We've got some pre-workout with us, which we're gonna go and take there. But make the most of it. Try and start the week in a positive way. We'll check in with you guys at the gym, and hopefully we'll show you some clips of the back workout as well. I hope you're enjoying the new higher quality as well on the video. Just got a new camera, the Sony, I think it's the RX100. I'll show a picture of it to you guys on the screen. So far we're enjoying it. Let me know what you think of the quality of the videos. Comment down below, give me some feedback on that. But we're trying to bring some better quality to the channel because previously I was using my iPhone 6, which was okay, but sometimes the quality on the front facing camera wasn't as good. This is full 1080 all the time, so we'll check in with you guys at the gym. All right guys, so we're at the gym now, but I have a scoop of our pro sops. We're going with the Mr. Hyde. I haven't been able to find this online actually, so I'm running out. So I bought some uh, C4 the other day instead, but guys, we're taking the pre-work in a bit more of an intense way recently. Just having half a scoop, nothing crazy. And I'll show you how we do it, like this. It's a bit sour, but I find taking it just before the workout means that it's a bit more effective and it goes with much less water as well, so give it a try. Ugh, but be prepared for the sourness. So we're going to head into the gym. As you can see, it's been raining, which isn't great, but we're inside, we're in the car. I'm going to go kill some back, so check in with you guys in the gym. Now guys, as you can see, we started with the bent over row, so please excuse the awkward camera angle. I'm just getting used to this new camera and how it works and the screen, etc. But there is a better angle coming up later. Now the focus of this workout was for me to develop thickness in my back because that's something I'm really trying to achieve. I think I've got some decent width but the thickness definitely needs work. So we started off with the bent over rows and we did around 5 sets of this in the rep range from 8 to 15. So we started with the higher reps, just getting a bit warmed up and then working our way down to heavier weights with um, some lower reps. As you see the weights wobbling around there, I should probably throw a clip on there for some safety. Here you can see the technique is a bit better as well. Trying to go slow, trying to keep it nice and controlled. You can see me trying to pull with the back only, try to avoid that bouncing. But guys, this is a great exercise for overall thickness of your back. Definitely give it a try. Now the next exercise that we did continued with the theme of rowing. So we went with the bent over dumbbell rows. This just gives a little bit more of a chance to isolate each lat independently. Here you can see I'm altering my foot stance to get it right, really nice and comfortable. And again, try to avoid the bouncing and really try and get the focus in the lats. Again, we went for three sets here only, not five, um, and we went in the eight to 12 rep range. Got a really nice contraction on this, using the Versa grips, as you can see, just to assist the grip so that you're not relying on your forearm strength, you can use your back uh, and fully utilize the back muscle. So you'll see just a couple of sides of me doing this. Um, like I said, three sets. Excellent exercise for that back thickness. So for the next exercise, we did the hammer strength machine. I'm not sure what this is called, but I think it's called a high row. This hits the back really nicely, and you'll see that I altered it. I did, I think, 10 to 12 reps uh, with the normal seated grip, holding onto the handles like you see. Um, and then after that, as you can see happening here, I switched the grip up um, and pulled from the handles at the top, which made it a bit wider. And then to go a step further, I stood up and kind of leant forward on the pad without sitting down. Um, and did the same grip again. And this was just kind of hitting the back from a few different muscles, a um, few different angles, and really got a good squeeze, good stretch, and nice contraction from this. Definitely give this a go. It's always good to vary things. Try different angles on your back, and you'll see that you do get some really good results. Um, on this weight, I've been increasing the amount that I've been able to do quite a lot recently. Uh, and now on this side angle, you'll really be able to see me um, doing the different seated positions uh, and rowing positions much more clearly. Guys, don't be scared of machines as well. It's good to have a balance of free weights and machines. So you see that I do you know, a couple of free weight exercises with the dumbbell and the barbell, and now I'm hitting the machines nicely. And here, on, from the side angle, you can really see how I give that uh, different variation a go. Now on this exercise, it's the lat pull down. We're all familiar with it, and I think you guys have seen me do it before as well. Again, I went here for three sets between 8 and 12 reps. 
Um, but this time I was making a bit more of an effort to sit upright as opposed to lean too far backwards because I think in previous um, attempts at this exercise I really was leaning and putting quite a big arch in my back. So here you'll see me just trying to sit up a bit better and I've shown you it from a couple of angles and actually I've gone a little bit lighter with the weights just to make sure that my form is correct and I'm really squeezing and feeling it nicely in the back. Here you'll see me doing the last back exercise, which is kind of an isolation exercise, but it does hit the full length of the back for me, and I feel a nice contraction in the lat. I would say this is probably called the lat pullover, or the cable pullovers, uh, and I went with the wider bar here. This is a really nice exercise to finish off the back with. I enjoy doing this, and I go a little bit higher reps here for three sets with about a 10 to 12 rep range. Now we move on to the upper portion of the back, specifically the rear delt. And sorry about the camera angle, guys. Again, it's my first time using the new camera, so I'm not super excellent at um, the positioning yet. But here you see me adjusting slightly to help you guys out with the viewing. But this is basically me kind of doing face pulls, but with the straight bar. And we superset this straight away um, with the dumbbell bent over flies for the rear delt. So we really want to finish off the rear delts nicely uh, with these last two supersets. So here you see me going the pulls towards the chest um, and then also the dumbbells as well. Uh, you can see that technique here. The last thing that we did today was the shrugs. Now typically I don't do actually anything directly for the traps, which is the muscles um, just alongside your neck. But today I thought I would incorporate some shrugs. I've been trying to do a few shrugs and again you can see me here again not being very good with the camera angle. But today with the barbell, you can see that I'm trying to go slowly, trying to pinch it at the top. And again, we did three sets um, in the 10 to 12 rep range. I think I changed the camera angle over in a second, which you'll see, which is much better. So you can see a bit more what I was doing. I was just picking the bar up from the floor and trying to shrug nicely. Well, that was the leg workout, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Going to be more videos coming soon, as always. Let me know what kind of videos do you prefer. Do you prefer the workout videos, food videos? I'm going to do a day of eating video soon as well because those are fun for me. Makes me experiment a bit with the foods as well. Let me know if there's any specific places, maybe in London, you want me to try out on my day of eating. I can do that. Hit me up in the comment section below. As always, guys, follow me on Instagram. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Um, what else? Comments, share, like, you know what to do. More good stuff cut soon come more good stuff coming soon guys. Thanks so much for watching.